Hey, hey, we are here once more with Elysian Road. This is our 22nd episode, I believe. I definitely wrote it in already, but I've already forgotten. Um, so who knows? But that sounds right to me. <laughs> We're here and we are going to play some Stars Without Number. Very excited to be getting back to the game here. Um, but, but, uh, yeah, currently David has a work schedule conflict with our Tuesday night slot. And so as we try to get that figured out and as we lead up to me having a child here, um, we are going to continue doing like a kind of, uh, stagger, well, not, not continue, but start doing a little staggered thing. Um, so the plan is if my child comes around his normal due date is to spend Tuesdays doing, um, doing Connor, uh, Connor and Jared as Evelyn and Fergus and figuring out their, um, what they're doing and then have a side, like a parallel storyline with, uh, Odin Dylan, um, with what they're doing, um, to, uh. And and I have some ideas about like why they were going to be split up during this time, but obviously Evelyn and Fergus have already been split up. Um, yeah, we're gonna like crash into the sun or something because neither of us know how to pilot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. I have some ideas about how about why how and why that is happening. Uh, but obviously we have uh, that discon the, the communication breakdown that happened at the very least. Um, that's kind of the impetus, the starting starting point of all that. Um, but then yeah, spending Fridays doing Odin Dylan, um, which should I think start not this Friday, but next Friday. But again, I don't, I don't really know what my child's plans are at this point. So we're going to kind of be playing it by ear and hopefully we'll be able to get through enough Elysian road that we can like call a hiatus at a good point to do so. Um, but you know, who knows? Uh, God's in charge of that, not me. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> so when we last left off Elysian Road, Evelyn and Fergus had been um, dragging the clone of Vigo Sorum through New Eden, the, the crazy weird um, high-tech, uh, what's it called, high-tech uh, hospital. Of one sort or another. And uh, they came smack dab in front of, uh, what's their names? Alex and Victor, members of Crawl's crew uh, that apparently have been doing stuff behind the scenes here. Um, it was hinted at earlier in the episode that, in the last episode, that there was someone else infiltrating the facility at the same time that Fergus and, and, uh, and Evelyn were, and it was hinted at that it might be Vigo's crew, um, but that was a red herring because it was actually Crawl's crew the entire time. And so, um, Sample, the AI, has been doing his work to, um, you know, stop communication, move cameras, do whatever he needs to do to uh, have their mission go with that hitch. And apparently, part of their mission is confronting you in this hospital. And doing what? I don't know. They don't know. We'll find out this week on Dragon Ball Z. So um, we are probably just going to... Wasn't the last here. thing that happened, I, I screamed for help? <laughs> to who, exactly? I think Everyone? to, like, the hospital. Yeah, because I'm still disguised as a doctor. Yes. Oh, man, I should have listened back to the episode. Um... Yes, I believe, yes, 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 yes. There were, I think, hospital staff or security or whatever that did answer your call, I believe. Yikes, I'm not I don't even remember. sure. Was there, was there a roll? Let's look back. Yeah, it's just, we can see that. Burger um, succeeded at a luck save was the last thing I see happen. As well that's, as a talk that's, I think that's what that was for. I think that's the lot of us too, the luck save, yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So, so security is going to show up here soon. Probably not right now, but, um, 
they'll they'll be here soon. But I guess we're rolling initiative. See what this is gonna look like. Um, Can I just give them the guy. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't even know. I don't even think they said anything like "give us him" or anything. Oh, they just like okay. showed up and like taunted you. So doesn't matter anyway. I got a five. Uh, go ahead and click on your token Oof. corner when you roll yours. Yeah. Hey. A five. <laughs> oh, hey, me too. And I, I think Vigo's what? just Vigo's just out for the count right now. Um, he's mm-hmm. very. I mean, he he's literally, I think, unconscious at this point, right? Um, yeah, he was in a coma, and then Fergus is carrying him with telepathy. So keep in mind that mm-hmm. if you're gonna, you you have an effort. Um, spent on that. Oh, I'm uh, dropping him. Yeah, I was gonna he's say. A clone. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to use that, you'll have to do that. Um, I guess Victor goes first. By a long shot. Um, Here's the issue, Jared. That what? I think Evelyn is thinking right now mm-hmm. is, if this is a clone and the real one is dead, this is all she has left. Right. It's fair. Oh, but no, I told you that the real one was still alive. Remember, I uh, did that, that <coughs> tele- tele- <coughs> to find out if the real one was still there. <coughs> How'd you do that? Oh, man, I did that the wrong way. Jared, you were saying stuff. Oh, yeah, uh, I did that telepathy roll to see if I could find like brainwaves waves similar to his, which I did somewhere else in the hospital. Yeah, so I that's accident- how I know that the real one's still there. Yeah, I accidentally muted your guys' sound instead of my mic and then it coughed yeah. really loudly. So that was that was fun. <laughs> um can you say that one more time, Jared? <laughs> I'm a little frazzled today. I did so, I did not when I figured out he was a clone to fi- to find out if the real one was still there, I made a telepathy roll to see if I could like find brain waves yes. similar to his. Yes. Yep. And we found discovered that he was still there yeah. somewhere in the facility. Yeah. That's where we were heading to. Yeah, yeah. We got okay. ambushed. Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, cool. So I think Victor is just gonna go ahead and point his thunder gun. Wait, point Blake? He's gonna he's gonna hit himself too. That was a thunder gun. Really? No, it's it's a Oh, I'm thinking of like the distortion cannon, aren't I? Yeah, I mean, if he was pointing his rocket launcher at you guys, then obviously, yeah, that'd be bad. But um, he is currently... I, mean, I have a finger of God. Not with you. You don't have your mech on you. Uh, but I can launch it from orbit whenever I please. <laughs> that is not how that works. Yeah. Not in, not in the slightest. What? No. I have... I have, I have yeah, he bought, the, he bought the... Yeah. He bought the piece for it that allows him to do that the piece for the mech yeah yeah it's a it's an attached yeah, grab or, or a mod whatever i yeah, i have it. no idea what you're trying to even say here what are, what do you expect no. to be able to do with this attachment uh, launch it from 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 orbit the weapon or the whole no, mech? No, no, no the whole mech okay well if you did that then it would land in the hospital. <laughs> well, I mean, either... we're already here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would either do that and like destroy some things because uh, you're like underground at this point, or it would and more likely it's just going to be shot out by the order of the dust auto like defense turrets as it hits ammo. Well, that's only if our ship is in orbit. If our ship is above the hospital, true. We can uh, kind of like hyperspeed launch it in no. in the atmosphere. I don't I don't think there's a single <laughs> logical just, way to make roll, this happen. Just roll the thing it's gonna kill no. us. Luxive. Like <laughs> no. Can he hit both of us Luxive. with that or just one of us? I, that's what I'm looking at. Um I think he only can hit one of you. Um yeah I'm pretty sure it's the detor- this, the the distortion cannon that would are, hit both of us. Th- are we in a haunted hospital? What? No. Like move my mouse over something, and then the lights like dimmed on the screen. Oh, interesting. Like in the hospital, that was weird. It was spooky. Can I flirt with that chick as a free action? Mm. (laughs) You can 
try it as part of what you do on your turn. Uh, I, I had a mix between a, re- a revolting vomit and, <laughs> and, a, and a laugh. <laughs> Evelyn's taken, so Fergus got to find love somewhere. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Fergus has even thought about romance at least once in this entire nope. campaign. He's he's older now, though. <laughs> Uh, that's fair. That's fair. He's nineteen. You do have hormones now. Um. Okay. So I guess he is just going to fire a thunder gun at Fergus. Oh, but I'm carrying the man with your mind. Right next, to he, in front of me. Right. right yeah. Here. It doesn't matter. Is a is a bullet shield? No. <laughs> no. I think a thirty three is probably good enough. That was a crit. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and double check Uh-oh. if uh, critical hits. Yeah, on... I don't, I don't, I don't. Let's, yeah, I don't think they do. <laughs> I don't think they do. Let me just Google this real quick. Sure, that would probably sure be stars. Critical hits. Um, yes, it does. It doubles? Um. This is really confusing. Uh, yes, no. What? Yeah, that's not a thing in. So I that never. Okay. Crit- crits aren't or. Nope. Yeah, nothing, really? extra, nothing extra happens. It's the game is already lethal enough just by itself. Oh, wow. OK, that. Yeah, they don't have that. Um, well, that's I'm good. Still, I'm still alive. Yeah. then. <laughs> yeah. How much HP do you have? That was my next question. 13. Left. 13. Left. Oh, oh OK. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. So so Victor. um. I don't even I don't remember what they said. They, they, they said some sort of taunt, you know, uh, as, as you guys arrived. And then Victor just points his gun at uh, at Fergus and just says. Um, I think this I think this will be a little bit easier than. Um, how do you say this? Too bad you don't have your friends to help you here. It's, um, and psychic powers, and psychic powers aren't going to save you against the thunder gun. And then he just <laughs> shoots distorted sound waves at Fergus. Fergus, you probably slam up against the elevator door behind you um, as, yeah, the waves ripple the wall and create cracks and stuff. Um, hey, it's not our fault that David's work schedule got all janky. <laughs> I fired back. <laughs> You're not supposed to break the fourth wall. You know, he just broke the elevator. Uh, cool. So that is his turn. Evelyn, it's you. Okay. Um, is there any way for me to like call my mech? Is that because like shooting it into the atmosphere is a thing? Is it like able to be programmed to like? So while I'm a certain place, I, or? I think it's yeah, it's totally doable to like shoot the mech out somewhere. The issue is that would have had to have been a thing way before this, and you would have had to set up particular yeah. parameters. You would have had to no, but this is but also this is New Eden. You're deep within New Eden. There's no way it's getting to you. It's just it, there's so many hoops it would have to jump through, both like actual walls and security measures. That is just not a possible right. No, I, I yeah, I have. I have psychic techniques about seeing the future. <laughs> no, that that doesn't matter. Um, th- that doesn't matter here at all. Like there, there's okay. no possible way, given where you are in the facility, that this could actually okay. reach you in any meaningful amount of time to make any difference in this fight. Okay. All right. Um, I think we should right. just pour all of our damage into Juliana. I think she has less health and less AC. All right. All right I'm fine with that. We can critically wound her. Maybe scary guy will leave. <laughs> right. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I think the other guy's armor class is what much higher, probably. Yeah, that too. Um, and it sucks because the other, the other, the people that actually fought these people before that would remember a detail like that aren't here. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Okay, so I mean, yeah, I'll fire I think at we Juliana. Can just tell by the gigantic plated suit of armor he's wearing. Um, so, uh, for me on committed effort, it definitely says I have five uncommitted and that's definitely not correct since this is the same day as the scene, like two seconds before this in game. So mm. I don't know if I just wasn't keeping track of it or if I just like reset for some reason. Say it again. Cause I was pretty sure I was keeping track of my effort. Yeah. I think it was yours is all gone. All pretty, gone? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was all gone by this point. You used it so many times. We're dead. You didn't save... Uh, didn't you save one just in case you needed to reset? See, that's what I thought I did in case I needed to do the... Because I remember um, that coming up at least once saying, nope, I gotta save the last one to reset, but I don't know if you ever used that last one. I don't think he... Well, well I think I kept one, but it doesn't matter because Anguished Vision, I can only do that once a day. And you already did that. Yep. Uh, the one where back. I could reset time yeah. like for like a full oh, round or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah you already used that. But I think I still have one left. But if you don't want to give it to me, Caleb, that's fine. I, I mean, I, I think the house rule here is you didn't mark it yourself. So I'm going to have to make the call. Right. And yep, that's, that's just your fault, basically. <laughs> yep. So I, no, I think I did mark them, though. So that's why I'm I'm peeved. I mean, where would you have marked I, I remember specifically marked that them. part what but where where would you have marked them except on the thing right there um well right that's what i that's what i mean I yeah so if it's not there then i didn't mark it i i do i did do it <laughs> okay um i know you marked some system strain but that's different so okay if you omit it all it'll be gone it'll be gone yeah i think it is yeah I, sorry i bet i bet, I bet uh caleb uh before before the session just went back in and and planned this all out and reset my efforts that i wouldn't know if that i did like, nope, not it all, it all gone I, I bet that's what happened oh jared you didn't mark any <laughs> you didn't mark any either on yours that's because everything i use is temporary yeah i i know i know everything that i have i have okay. armory i have yeah, yeah. And I have my shapeshift. So yeah, as long as long as you're down, keeping track of yeah, it, that's fine. I can drop those and get two back. So yeah. I have five, I still have five. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot Juliana then. Cool. Do it. That oh, miss. Unreal. Wow. Yeah, I suck at fighting. <laughs> that is exactly why this is happening right now, and they knew this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So. All right. Well, you take a shot, Alex. Just like micro teleports out of the way and she just says oh you're gonna have to do better than that he's taunting me it spins your sword he's taunting me without breaking the fourth wall this time <laughs> yeah uh fergus it's you psychic sucker take my turn um good question let's check psychic sucker Main action, yes. Where does it say that? On level zero. And it doesn't say anything in the oh, okay. in the upgrades that it makes it take less time. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we're gonna die. And she's probably going to attack me, too. She just saw that Connor can't shoot for for nuts. Um, Connor, what should I do? <laughs> There's a fan flipping fantastic question. Um, I think you should kill Juliana, but if you're not capable of doing that. I mean, I, I don't, don't know. I, I I can do a ton of damage if I hit her, but theoretically, if I roll well, but yeah, I can kill her. Which the second do? I mean, Three you. Two. 
you you do between 10 and 20 damage so is what the rolls you have here and i have 23 she probably has more health than me unless she's also a full bio set. or we could retreat to where you get doctor back up use the doctors as bullet shields yeah, maybe you should you should press the okay. So I take your free action. You should sidestep over here and you should press the elevator door button. Uh, so, so that we can just get in the elevator and leave. Is this an elevator? Yeah, that's I think yeah. I think that's the one you just broke, but uh, with your back. Know, do we know where help's coming from, Caleb? Um It'd probably, probably be door? from. I mean, at this point, you're pretty deep in the facility, so it's but and they were well, the deeper the into the no yes facility, so the more guards. The only be. issue is I know what they have been up to. Mm-hmm. I don't think there are any alive or conscious security guards past this point. Huh. Well, but so they're going to be half. They're going to have to be coming the... from the from where you came from, if anywhere. Oh, oh okay. Windows, right. Connor. So, so okay. Uh, yeah, there's not a window. I'm taking them. With- um, this is a window. It's you're underground uh, at this point. It's a window to the dirt, <laughs> or maybe it's like holographic images. Probably, yeah. Um, I put my finger to this guy's head and I say, "Another move, and he gets it." <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something Fergus would try, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Does that would that cost my turn, or is talking a free action? <laughs> I mean, you would be attempting to like roll like a talk to get them to stop. So yes, that would take your turn. Okay. Honor? Yeah, you should definitely just shoot her, but you should press the elevator to her button first because I think that'd be really funny <laughs> if we're like doing this combat and waiting the, for the elevator door to open. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! And then we just see some security guards just like this elevator music playing and they're just like coming up. Just like, mm-hmm. did you hear what was going on? No, I just kind of got a general call. Something bad was going on over here. So, you know, <laughs> thought we'd check it out. Guns firing everywhere. Jared? Is that your plan? I don't know what to do. We're going to die. No, nah, we got this. We're good. Oh, you know what? I just remembered we do in a losing round. Flashbacks. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah, too late. <laughs> so, <laughs> so enough the flashback is the security guards in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so I think I, I actually had an idea for a flashback this time. I just forgot to do it at the beginning. So so we see like this happen, right? Fergus is like presses the elevator unless unless you didn't do that, Fergus. I mean, yeah, I guess I did. Because then I think that is a funny scene. You know, like seeing like the guards coming up and some some variation that maybe not as quite as ridiculous as that, but um, but we so we get that like funny moment and then it, get, it hits credits, right? So we get the opening sequence and stuff. And then the first thing we c- come to when we get back from credits is uh, a quick flashback um, before we jump back into the action. And literally it's basically just till with whatever last communication you guys were doing where he's like, Oh yeah, I, you know, sorry, I can't, if I, if I try to go any deeper into the system, uh, they're going to be alerted to my presence. And then we just hear Fergus on the other end, just say, okay, that's fine. And you know, or we'll try this. And and then Till sits back in its chair and he's, you know, at that safe house that you guys uh have uh in the city where you you're keeping um the, the patients who were supposed to be here. Um and uh we hear we hear Dylan and Ode um in the background talking about, you know, Ode's saying something like, you know, we still never did anything for your birthday. Um and Dylan's just like, No, it's fine, we don't need to do anything. And then Till's just like sitting back like I feel useless. You know, that's the kind of vibe we get from him. He's just like kind of waiting on edge. Uh, and then he, he just goes to say, Fergus, so I, I'm seeing some sort of glitch in the system. It's, it's almost as like, it's almost as if the cameras are repeating themselves, but I didn't do it. I think someone else might be 
Fergus? And he's doing this in his mind, obviously, because that's what was happening there. Fergus? Can you two hear Fergus? And Dylan and Oda are like, no, but we can hear you. And they're, they're, you know, they're, this is all the mind link. Or no, I guess. Yeah, it would have just been completely disconnected because it, it could be active while, while Fergus wasn't having it live. So Mattel says it in his mind. In his mind, they don't answer. Yeah. And then says it out loud. Yeah, and then says it out loud. And then they're just like, no. And they're kind of confused as what he means. But he's just like, Greek curse word here. And then we just cut back to where you guys are. Do Does using a stim count as a turn? Uh, I think it depends, maybe. Um, what is it? Because I stim? bought like... I don't. I, I don't know. I bought like all the stims. <laughs> um, where's the uh, the sheet thing? The what? The the rule book. I don't have that. I don't have that thing anymore. Uh, I can link it to you again. Okay. Or you could just, you know, look up the stims because I spent. Like I'm I'm going to, but I'll link it as well. Credits on stims. So, uh, a possible thing that we could do as well, Kim, is Juliana wearing any body armor? Um, no. Remember her? She has iron hide, which is all the little okay. teleporting that she does. Mm-hmm. So I can. Uh, Yeah, um, with my toxin injector, if I just uh, succeed on a punch attack roll, which will probably be extremely oh. difficult for me. Uh, yeah, I got it, Kip. You find it? I, I, I just searched my history. Cool. Um, on a success, the victim must make a physical saving throw at minus two or be incapacitated by the poison, dying in 1d6 rounds, or being incapacitated for 1d6 rounds or 1d6 hours at the user's discretion. Okay. So I could potentially kill her if I can just make one successful punch roll. <laughs> that would be the trick though, Connor. That would be the trick <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Not sure if I'm capable of doing that, but <laughs> we're not even sure if Cantarius is capable of doing that. And he had brawling at like seven. So <laughs> correct. Hey, way to bring that up. <laughs> How insensitive of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do any of these stims actually heal? I don't think so. There's like a particular medical thing that you can inject that I don't think is a stimulant that um, but that only brings you like you have a Lazarus patch. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure that costs a turn. Yeah. Alright. Um... What's, what does morale score? Where are you looking at that? A person affected by psych immediately gains a morale score of 12 and plus one bonus on all skill checks. Uh, I think it's a rule that we haven't used where it's like you have a certain morale score and, and the GM rolls against it if you might run, but we've never done anything with that, so... These tricks suck. I mean, you guys, you guys have kind of transcended beyond all that stuff at this point. You're like level yeah. seven psychics, so. I'm going to use some tsunami. <laughs> You're going to what? I'm, I'm I'm injecting some tsunami, an emergency combat stim used to juice certain expendable soldiers before an assault. Tsunami fills them with a reckless disregard for pain and an intense aggressiveness. <laughs> the short effect duration and difficult application limits its wider use. However, subject gains a morale score of 12, 10 extra hit points for 10 minutes and a plus two bonus on all hit rolls. Pun, pun. <laughs> You know, when in doubt, use drugs. Kib, does that cost a turn? 
Does that cost a turn to inject it, or can I do that and shoot her? Um, that's a good question. That's, I thought that's what you were looking up. Otherwise, Jared's I would have been looking it up oh. the whole time. Oh, I wish there was a compendium for this, like there is for D and D on roll twenty. Then I actually have to like open this book and look around at stuff. And the book is not easy easily. Navigated. Um, so, uh, yikes, yeah. Um, you get what a main action, a move action, an on turn action, and an instant action. What? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, problem with that, Jared, is mm -hmm. to ready or stow an item, it's a main action already. Literally just getting it out of your backpack is a, a main action. Never mind. Um, and then using it. Oh, yeah, because you have to use a skill to do it, basically. That's okay. the equivalent of it, because you're just like... Yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, so two main of, actions. You're, you're, uh, I, I think to you, Evelyn, your call. Um, run, talk, or shoot. I'm fine with any of them. I'm thinking I, this in your brain. I, I, I think... Uh, or I could offer them this clone because the real one's alive. I could try to use the clone as leverage. Okay, so uh, my thought is that they know this is the clone and this was the trap. Right? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is a child who's about to die. Okay, that, was, <laughs> that was already longer than six seconds, so... No, well, well that was happening in the mind, so it's super that. quick. No, that that was my out of character <laughs> thought. Like it's my mind. Okay, palace. okay. No, what no. what what Evelyn <laughs> says to to Fergus about run shooter uh, talk mm -hmm. is fight until we can run. <laughs> okay, all right. I I press the button and shoot, and while I, while I'm shooting, I'm like, oh, you're you're kind of cute. You should join our team. <laughs> <laughs> And you say that, but it makes no real difference. I'm really, I'm really sorry about this. You're gonna try to shoot Alex. Yeah. Do it. Um. Theoretically. Oh wait, never mind. I use telekinesis to do this, not to shoot. What is uh Evangelia's telekinesis? I I probably shouldn't use that yet. I'm gonna need these. Twenty-five yep. damage. Yep. Yeah, that hits. That's yeah. a near perfect roll. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, and you're shooting with your yeah psychic spike thrower, so you you yeah. blast back, and uh, Alex tries to teleport out of the way, accidentally teleports right into it. You guess correctly where she's gonna be, mm -hmm. right? Um, Nuts. And she just like ugh, and, like suddenly has like nice. shrapnel, and she's bleeding all over the place, and she's just like, ugh, that was not fun. I could heal you if you surrender. Yeah. We could heal both of us <laughs> together. Or we could talk. Yeah, or go on a date. I know there's a smoothie place nearby. <laughs> she like throws a knife at you. Um, so she is gonna go ahead and try to attack you, Connor. Evelyn. No. Please don't cut me. What what kind of weapon is she using? Her mono blades. Oh, missed. that totally she misses. She missed really Oof. badly. Oh, that's good. Yep. So we have a, a teleporter versus a, a precog, and so she's teleporting, yeah. but you are you know where she's gonna go, and yep. we just see it, this little dance back and forth as you dodge just barely with your ATM powers. Um. But yeah. You're Good. you're you're keeping one step ahead of her, and maybe we see you like. You know, back up onto these like waiting chairs here, right? And then yeah. like flip over, and then she teleports on the other side, and you like slide under her legs, and yeah, 
you guys are 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 uh it's it's like an awkward combat to watch because yeah we're uh like like she's striking uh but like then teleporting Mm -hmm. and and i'm uh not looking at where she is i'm looking inside my mind Uh to see where she will be so we're we don't look like we're engaged with each other at all but Uh it's all real close near misses but we all we both look stupid as we're attacking (laughs) it looks like uh most lightsaber fights in star wars where like they're not the the choreography is such that you're like they weren't actually trying to hit each other like this was just supposed to look cool for the audience (laughs) Uh, before anything, yeah, I, I, had to, I had to go really quick for Jerrica. Oh, but yeah. After I hit the button, I move here. Oh, got it. Sounds good. Let it be known, I, I did hit the button. Yeah, so you okay. you move up <laughs> to to get right in front of Victor. Yeah. Cool. Um, Victor's gonna attack ya. I stick up my hands and like, fight me like a man. <laughs> <laughs> he drops his thunder gun and then takes out his giant like vibro claymore um that's that's not manly i make you do and then i i, I, I flinch <laughs> yeah and he brings it down on you oh, i'm so gonna die <laughs> Wait, yes oh by the way he takes 1d6 damage because of my armor <laughs> oh yeah nice <laughs> that's why i moved up I take you only Caleb. What do you think you no? I get to roll that. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Same roll. Like, wow, that that hurt you just as much as it hurt me. (laughs) He frowns down at you like what? (laughs) Like, why did that happen? (laughs) I go, why can't I kill the small child? (laughs) Yeah. All right, Ellen. Although I guess you don't look like a small child. You look like a doctor. No, I think that dropped. Yeah, I think you guys dropped your. No, oh, we dropped our disguises. For... I I didn't drop mine. Well, I I don't drop mine. You drop mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. I assumed. I think I'm pretty sure you did at this point. No, nope. I purposely well, kept it so the doctors would think we were on their side. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so security would actually mm-hmm. come to your aid. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you don't look. I'm in a really all. cute nurse's outfit, then, right? Right. Yes, that's oh, exactly. No and uh fergus is yeah looks like a, a handsome young doctor perfect mm-hmm. fighting in style <laughs> okay anyway uh yeah it's evelyn it's you um i don't know i'm not good at this can i give you bardic inspiration so okay me attacking with a punch roll what do i have to hit to succeed at that just her armor class um to to hit to oh with a punch roll yeah yeah you need to see you need her armor class hit her armor class with a punch roll but if i roll punch that's not possible right Uh, what do you have a bonus opportunity in this game i don't think so no i don't think so uh yes yes there are yeah, because you have to do a fighting retreat. Yep. Darn. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming that I'd just be rolling a d20 minus one for punch. Is that um, how that work? Yes, which means you'd get it on a one and t- one on a twenty. <laughs> you should just roll a shoot and like a disadvantage. Well, Evelyn wants to try to do her poison thing is the issue. Yeah, but I only succeed on a 20. You have a 1 in 20 chance. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her army her AC is 19 exactly. So. Yeah, okay. So I don't that's not that's not the play. Well, you don't have to get above 20. You just have to get a 19 or 20. No, he has a minus 1 on it. Oh. Yep, so I have a 1 in 20 chance. I have a 5% chance. I don't like those odds. I'm going to I'm going to shoot with the mag rifle. I do 2d8 plus 5 damage though. So, that's about her health hopefully so yeah, i'm gonna try it Woo, oh, yeah, baby. nice nice Let's do it oh that was a crit oh man that's so upsetting i wish i would have tried yeah, the poison any, thing any can you imagine <laughs> yeah. uh yeah that definitely hurt her so 
this is still alive? Yeah. What? They're taking 30, 40 damage? Mm-hmm. What? They're both warriors, dude. Dude, she has more health than both of us combined. <laughs> They're both warriors. That's that's their job. That's Tank nuts. Tank heads like this. Holy crap. Dude, these, these people are, <laughs> we are out of this white class mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fergus? Whoa. What's that? You're a little quiet now, Jared. Oh, he's right. That's I said class. shenanigans. Oh, <laughs> shenanigans. Okay, so that's my turn then, yeah? So, okay, yeah. so... Um, yeah, what does it look like? Oh, God, I gotta think about it in a cool way. So she's she's teleporting all over the place. Um, but I think uh, I have my mag rifle. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it has auto-targeting? Is there... Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's what I do. I just turn auto targeting off because auto targeting is only helpful for like a visual sight as to like, um, w- like w- what the gun would be like shooting for. But because of the teleportation stuff, it's just like it's not helpful. So she just like switches it off and then shoots where she knows that she's going to be. Definitely and the force guide you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. And uh, she just like teleports like right in front of the barrel. Cause she's trying to hit me with blades. Right. Mm-hmm. So she teleports right in front of the barrel and I just pull the trigger. Nice. And gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Is she bleeding? I mean, yes. She was already she was already bleeding, but cool. Must use extra bleeding. Fergus? Yeah. Fergus, uh Fergus's life was flashing before his eyes because this is the closest he's ever been to death. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we, we see we see a and, flashback. And, and you went to the uh a very, very the short ghost flashback. ship. <laughs> I didn't take any damage. <laughs> I know exactly. I was gonna say like this is is the closest Fergus has come to this death. Is, this, this situation is, I think and the he... first time in this campaign I've like taken significant damage. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, it, we get a, we get a flashback to back on his home planet. He's being he's being picked on because you know he's he's like he's like the stereotypical like you know crushing beetles type kid, mm-hmm. and he's getting picked on. By someone like three times his size, and then his brother comes up and just sucker punches the guy. He's like, nice. No. And then there's there's a his eyes water a little bit. He's like, oh man, I wish my brother was here. Oh. Well, anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna shoot her again. I'm like, really? I I don't want to kill a girl, but you're making it really hard not to. Making it really hard not to kill you. Oh, Connor, let me reroll. I can't. Oh no. Um. Where's Scrooby Dooby dude? Oh boy. Yeah, that missed. <laughs> <That's the end laughs> <of my> turn. <laughs> yep. Cool, cool. I need to like take a look at this stuff and make sure I'm using them to their full potential. All right, Juliana is going to use Rift Reduplication. And uh, suddenly, yeah, by committing an additional effort for the day as an instant action, the adept can use personal apportation as an on-turn action, even if they've already used it once this round. Apporting itself costs whatever effort it would normally would. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If the adept uses their powers to teleport into a location, perform an action and then use Rift or Duplication to teleport back out, onlookers in the area will not have time to react to their action or attack the Adept unless the onlookers have held their action explicitly to counter the Psychic. So, suddenly, she is she's gonna um, attack you first, Evelyn, and then she's gonna teleport away, and unless you literally spend your turn readying for her to come back and, like, preparing to shoot her, um, oh. you won't be able to attack her at all. Really? Um, and she might teleport 
to attack Fergus instead, which, you know, so on and so forth. Which then I waste my turn or what? Um, if you can't get a shot on her, then yes. Huh. Yeah, I'm glad we are planning on running. <laughs> <laughs> so she missed again. Oh, God. Man, they suck today. Woo! Well, at least I sucked does. last time, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I guess Victor is just going to go ahead and slam you with his sword again. It's not too late to talk about this. I definitely don't turn British when I'm scared. <laughs> what? Yeah, so you missed. And he takes six damage. But he missed. I don't think he has to hit. You should check that. Yeah, I'll, I'll double check. That doesn't seem right. I'm eating, I'm eating a burger. It also doesn't seem right. Um, I don't have a thousand. Anyone who attacks the wearer in melee doesn't have to hit. Okay. What? And I'm like, oh, that one hurt you more than it hurt me. <laughs> 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 Holy crap. That's nuts. All right. Evelyn, it's you. Alex is not here. I'm just like, shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> I'm not scared. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, she's going to take a step back this way and then ready in action to shoot at her because that way if she comes back anywhere in this vicinity, she comes there, there. Uh, I can't ping that fast. There or there. Anywhere yeah. to actually hit anybody, I can still shoot her from here. Mm -hmm. You agree, Caleb? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'm just not um, making I'm, sure I'm, you're not I'm like, checking nope. the ability right now. Just double check. Um, but Okay. <clears throat> enemies who hold their action this way waste it entirely if the psychic does not give them a chance to attack or otherwise interfere um okay yeah so i'm writing my action for when she appears or yeah you're writing I'm, your action okay. to explicitly counter her as soon as she appears to be able to attack her okay yeah I'll, I'll do that and that's just a cool shot of like she teleports away yeah and she just goes into her mind palace and waits mm -hmm. for her to feel a vibration in the force yeah for uh -huh. her to like appear back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the psychic energy uh c and i think well it's fergus's turn at that point so what do you yep. do Will you look at thermokinesis and tell me if I can use it on his armor? Um, yeah. Thermokinesis. Oh, and Caleb, uh, while I'm while I'm back there, I, I press the button again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you asking? What was the question, Jared? Could I burn his art like? Do the thermokinesis on his armor specifically with that ability or no? Yeah, let me check. As with other tele telekinetic powers, this ability does not work on objects being held or used by intelligent creatures. So, no. But is he really using it as opposed to just wearing it? <laughs> Like yes. what, what is what is he's he he's <laughs> Jared. <laughs> he is currently using it as armor. Okay. I know. I'm just gonna shoot him. Chukaka. Yeah. Twenty. Please tell me he doesn't have more than twenty. I feel like he has to. No. Yeah. What's his AC? 
Um, you missed. What? <laughs> this game's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if uh, Juliana has right, that's her name, right? The soccer lady. Yeah. Uh, if she has she has nineteen armor class, so there's mm-hmm. no way that Caleb made characters where the, the power armor guy has yeah, like has one armor more class. armor class than than the like no armor lady. Yeah. Yeah, he has two more armor class than the no armor lady. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> wow. But I guess that makes sense, though, too, because yeah. she, teleports she teleports everywhere, everywhere. so her armor class yeah. is nuts. Yeah, she has Ironhide, so that's the that's the point of Ironhide, is so you can be epic and dodge everything without having to have yeah. armor. So. With, with, uh, while keeping your uh, 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 hide helmet uh, option on. Exactly, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Um, so you you hear uh, I think what you hear Connor is you hear the elevator like about it's it's coming near to you like you can you, okay, cool. you know it's coming coming there soon I can um, hear it in the shaft yeah uh, and you hear like <laughs> clicks and stuff like obviously people are getting and you hear like mutters of guys like security guards like they're okay. ready to like shoot as soon as they get out and then what happens is um you just hear oh what the and <laughs> Yes. Oh no! And we see Alex teleported into the elevator, um, and is just attacking them instead. Dang it! I should have seen that coming. We see her. You best sl- be making. You best be making rolls. Mm-hmm. Uh, she only attacked one per turn, Caleb. I know. Um, she she slam. First, the thing she does uh, as an on turn action is she slams the mm-hmm. um the stop button on the elevator with her foot like as she's going into a, sl- a slice um and then she attacks a dude um let me find a care sheet with these guys oh wait that's i gave them imperium Remember, they're super in your own words they're the best money can buy mm-hmm mm-hmm Giving them the same stats as an Imperium soldier. Um, which does mean. Um, yeah, we'll say 10 average uh so she did kill one dude um by getting perfectly on his ac and perfectly on his hit points Real. yeah so oh, one da- one dude is down uh in the elevator and that is her turn victor is going to Run for the hills. Run for his life. Right? He is going to grab out his thunder gun again and just fire it point blank at you. Pretty sure he gets a disadvantage thing for that. I don't know if that's a thing as starts as that number. I know it's I'm a thing. Pretty sure it is. I know it's a thing in D D, but I'll check. Uh, I don't think so. That's unrealistic. So it gives hit roll modifiers here. And it gives a bunch of circumstances and that isn't on it. Um, I demand a recount. <laughs> and a recount. Range. What happened to doing? Oh, this here like we go. That? Here we go. Here we go. Um, if it's anywhere, it's here. Are you armed with a melee weapon right now? No, you're standing there, aren't you? Depends what you define as a melee weapon. I have fists. No, that doesn't count. I also have a shield. 
doesn't count. Like a shield shield, not a shield, but a shield. So, yeah. Uh, he gets to make the attack. So he shoots you point blank with a thunder gun. And that definitely hits. Nine damage. What is it? How much did he do? 29. The... Oh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, nine damage. Um, so you, you, there, there's that, like, whatever screen, probably with, like, a little information readout and a map and stuff there, uh, for people trying to find their way around this facility, and, uh, he, I mean, he, he shoots you, it hits you point blank, you slam into it, shards of, like, like, this is, like, you know, TV screen stuff, so it's, like, shards of, like, TV level glass um, crack and splinter and fly backwards and Evelyn you probably have to put up your hand to like not get sliced in the eye by them Um, okay yeah but uh, yeah and then he just says so much for your shield and I say so much for your face and I pop up over the (laughs) pop up over the thing and shoot at him okay do it as I'm coughing up blood, I go, <coughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, I, hopefully I don't miss. You do. <laughs> so, so you just, you, 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 you sw- they swing over uh, the like shattered screen and then you fire point blank into his chest and the power armor just boom, like absorbs it. And he just like yep. looks down and he says, no, no, I still want to shoot him in the head, but the but oh, the right, helmet this is just the helmet. Like yeah, just, <laughs> and he just says, so not cool." <laughs> that didn't even tickle. That's obnoxious. And then it's you, Fergus. And as all that's going on, I'm gonna do psychic sucker. Okay, and three. So that's hurts me inside every time you say it like that. Two d six plus six. Fourteen health. So what? Oh, okay. So I add fourteen. To that. Yeah. I'm at eighteen. Basically back to full. <laughs> nice. And, and he looks over back to me like, "Yeah, that didn't hurt." At all. <laughs> he, he's talking to Elvin. He's like, "Whatever." He said like an idiot. He said like, uh, that didn't even tickle. I'm like, neither did that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. You're using psychic powers. <laughs> Oh man, my voice for this guy is all over the place tonight. I don't, know. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> I, 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 tur- I turned British. So, <laughs> yeah. Although I like to think that Fergus was originally British. I like. To I think, think he is on that planet. Well, he was. He's originally Scottish. Oh, but I can't do a Scottish accent. That's, just, that wasn't that wasn't it. Yeah. Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> you you got you got to go. Oh, that's that's the sound that that gets you there. Oh. Oh, class. Oh, Cleddy. Okay, um, Donin. <laughs> That's me. Um, Juliana. We've, we've had enough. <laughs> oh, I guess uh, the soldier should have a turn. Um, but honestly, I don't think they know what's going on. Uh, someone just stabbed and teleported and stabbed and killed them. They're no, shooting her. There's but she no can way te- they don't shoot her. But she can teleport away again and then come oh. right back. Like, I think it's going to take them a moment to understand that they can just ready themselves and fire at her, right? Mm-hmm. So. I don't know. They they deal with psychics a lot in this hospital, especially since a lot of the doctors are psychics. I don't, I don't know. Imperium soldiers, would they really be going to be used? Yes. Yes, they will be. Because they failed to save. Mm-hmm. All right. She misses misses the second one she attacks. Uh, but yeah, the elevator's still still stopped at this point. This time. This time I hit him. <laughs> All right. I can't believe point Blake doesn't is there's no There is if someone's threatening you with a melee weapon. But Fergus's fists do not count. I have a shield. A shield is a melee weapon. You have a psychic shield. Still a shield. Wait, you have like an actual like thing on your arm that's made out of psychic yeah. energy? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about just like a like an energy shield like around your whole body. No, 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 no. I it. have I have my um, I have my because I bought actual armor. Right. So the instead of like using that as like an armor, it's like a like a force field thing on my my arm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And per the rules, a shield I'm pretty sure counts as that. No, I think it does. Um obviously okay. it's we've already gone past at this point, but I'll I'll make sure he can't use that next time. Okay. So. I, I mean it's fine, I healed all of the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um but it is his turn, so he will go ahead and uh let's see yeah he still gets a higher bonus with the so if he, if he's using a two-handed ranged weapon he can't um if someone's threatening with a melee weapon if he has a one-handed ranged weapon he can use it as a minus four penalty um mm-hmm. and so he's gonna grab it as mag pistol of which still if the, the minus four penalty is still a higher bonus than his sword um he's just better at it um so but he misses it's getting gravy so you're just like you're like, firing at you as you're just like rolling away, or you yeah, just like I do, I do, with your I do shield. The, I do the Neo, lean back and dodge oh all yeah, the bullets. <laughs> and then they all hit Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> well, Evelyn just sees them coming even more so than you do, and then dodge out of the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that is his turn. Evelyn, it's you. Um, Evelyn, hit him this time. <laughs> uh, can I roll no on his armor? To like find a weakness, like uh, find yeah. some sort of like energy that it's resist or like uh, not resistant to. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um. Yeah. No roll. Well, that was pretty good. Um. So in terms of like the actual like rules for the armor, it's called storm armor. Um, aside from a function of functioning as an assault suit, the storm armor's exo augments allow the wearer to treat their strength as four points higher for encumbrance purposes and integral grav- gravitic boosters allow the wearer to leap up to 20 meters as a move action, either horizontally or vertically and allow the wearer to fall up to 40 meters without suffering harm. Um, and an onboard medical computer can attempt last dish stabilization of the wearer if all other efforts fail when the wearer would normally die from an untreated mortal wound. They can make a physical save to self-stabilize. Storm armor requires the same type B power cell as an assault suit and each cell powers it for 24 hours. So I don't think you know of like an energy type or anything that would like, you know, it's weak to you, but if you can get to its power source somehow, if you could, if you could strip out its power cell, uh, you might be able to shut it off. So yeah, that that would be your play here is to maybe like try to get close. And unfortunately, I think it would probably be rolling like a fix or something to like rip out the power cell at the right place. But you could do with intelligence, which you're good at, obviously. Okay. Yeah, that's the situation there. So I could rip out a power cell using intelligence? Using fix with intelligence. Fix with intelligence. Was he able to do that this turn, or was that no? That that was a turn right there. Using okay. skill, yeah. Connor, I have an idea. Okay. It might just Tele- be dumb telepath me. No, no it's, it's, it has to happen on your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is I your turn first. It just might work. <laughs> that reminds me of a long boring story. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna shoot him again. Okay. Hopefully, hit him. Yes, 21 damage. Very nice. Woo! That was good, yeah. So Doing stuff. after you dodge dodge his uh, shots, you shoot him point blank in the chest and slams over to the wall over here, um, you know, for flavor purposes. Uh, you should heal <laughs> from that one. Oh, and I, and I'm, I'm literally just like sprinting up to him again. Yeah. Yeah, your problem. What probably is happening is he's stumbling backwards as you're just like cocking the invisible shotgun and firing over and over again into his chest. He's like, grr, grr, and then just yeah. keeps getting more and more dented. And then she teleports in right behind me and cuts my head off. <laughs> well, um, uh, soldiers. Yes. 
So I think one of them will be able to try to get out, get off a shot on her and miss. Cool. <laughs> He's really throwing us a bone this time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think every turn, one more of them will get like will be able to figure out how to ready themselves, and then you rolled a two. Yeah, that was really bad. Um, and then she's gonna go um, ahead and roll to attack them again. She almost kills another one. One of them has one hit point left. Jeez. These guys are chumps. <laughs> so there are there are four more. I'm just gonna put them over here for organizational purposes. There's there's four more after the one she killed. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them has one hit point left. Uh Cool. So that's her turn. She's taking care of them. Um, Victor is going to. <laughs> Fire again with his mag pistol. Cause that's what he's best at right now. Miss. Oh, that was a really bad roll. Yeah, I'm just barrel stuffing him with my shield. All right, Connor. Um, and I guess yes. that's his turn. Uh, Evelyn, it's you. With okay, this roll you're about to make. Are you gonna are you gonna try to use knowledge to get to the power source? My fix is minus one. I want to spend an uh, an effort to use Evangelia through Connor here. And give Connor Ooh. four fix for this turn. Is he able to do that? Uh, sorry, say it again. Okay, so I said I want to commit effort to allow Evangelia through our telepathic contact give Connor four fix. Oh, I see. Because um... uh, Fergus is having an epiphany to basically try and do what Crawl is doing, giving everyone bonuses with his powers. Right, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, th- I think that would work. Yeah, if you do it, because it, with the I think especially Evelyn would you'd be able to do this with easily. I don't th- I don't think it would work with the others, but I think with Evelyn it, it you can. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Okay. Um, okay. That's my effort. There we go. So one, two, three, four. And I roll just four fix plus my intelligence or Yeah. I think so. So a modifier of five because my fix is minus one. And intelligence. Oh. Oof. Uh, ten is still yeah, I don't think it's quite good enough. Um oh, no. Uh Connor, you don't roll with the minus one. Uh right, no. That's why I gave plus five oh, things. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Darn you. So I think what this roll means is that you you take a look and um uh, Evangelia is walking you through it, Evelyn, right? And you're like, you're doing right. this in slow motion as like you're using your like ATM powers, right? And you're just like, okay, moving really slowly, like putting a hand and she's just like, all right, now on your left, there should be a panel. Now, you know, if you, if you push it in, in the right motion, you should be able to pop it off just long enough to rip out the, and then you try it. And she's just like, oh no, it's not, I'm not familiar with this model of armor. It's custom. I think he may have tied it up specifically so you couldn't. And then she almost, she doesn't quite get it off. And then Victor slams a fist into you and like knocks you. It doesn't do any damage, but like for narrative purposes, he slams a fist into you as you're trying to like do this to him. And he's just like, knocks me away. Stay away. Yep. That was, that was such a great moment, but it doesn't, didn't quite, didn't quite work out. Got to roll a one. (laughs) You got a 10 with a one and a three. Yep. All right, Fergus. Yeah, so you, so you know, Evelyn, that you won't be able to try that again. Uh, it's just not a sense yeah. to you. I, 
I, I just gotta be. I just, I just gotta shoot him again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just keep firing your shotgun into his chest, point blank. Boy. Yeah, I missed. Crit I failed. missed terribly. Yeah, so at this point, he he slams a, an arm up and knocks the shotgun blast up into the ceiling, right? And we just get <laughs> dust mm-hmm. come down um, as you, like, hit drywall and, and whatnot past the, past the ceiling. Um, and uh, he just says, Stop doing that! We can surrender. And uh, we'll have soldiers. So two shots on. What's her face? Uh, hey, one of them hit. Yeah. Is she dead yet? Like, holy cow. No, she's not. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. So, yeah, she's not doing super hot, though. Um, but she will get an attack on. I thought there were three guards left. No, there are. There were only three guards in the elevator? There are three guards left now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, okie dokie. Victor... Is <sighs> he's grunting as you're like bearing you both are like right next to him bearing down on him and he just says screw this and he just points his gun at Vigo and fires at the clone what and the thing is if he hits the clone's just dead because he's like in the rules says he's at the like very vulnerable state where one hit point damage kills him. Uh, you, I mean, Fergus literally just dropped them on the ground. So is there any way to intervene? If you had effort left. Yeah. Can I, mean, I wait like, to see diving what in front rolls. of the bullet? I mean, that I in the in the rules. I mean, I don't think there's really anything. No. Uh, so if I narrative flair, yeah, if he misses, then that can be what happens. But well, no, no. I mean, like Connor taking, like diving in front of it to take the bullet. Uh, I don't think so. No. I mean, it's 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 literally just the fact that like you've been having this gunfight in this room. No one has mm-hmm. taken any measures to secure this clone whatsoever, and so he just has a a shot on him. Yeah, he is doing this with minus four because <laughs> you guys are in, in his face, but right. But that means he still gets a plus eight on this. Look at the plus eight. Yeah, I, I, I think a twelve is good enough. The guys are wearing a what? hospital gown. What? The guys wearing a Isn't hospital it, gown. It, it, and he, it, oh, it, for reference, in D and D, eleven is paper. So, all right, let's check this. You don't you don't believe me that eleven armor class is paper? <laughs> I, I literally can send you a picture because it's a it's a meme. Oh man. First thing I thought you were talking about a role thing. You're talking about a meme. <laughs> I, no, it's it's in the D D roll twenty rules. Paper oh, D&D, paper is okay. armor class, and this is kind of loosely based off of that, right? That that doesn't matter because I mean it, it literally doesn't that doesn't even I don't know why you're even bringing that up at all because ah. human normal humans in D and D still have ten armor class. Yeah. So. Yeah. Technically, they usually have eleven armor class. But yeah, they have skin, plus one dexterity modifier. Uh, so shooting a distant prone foe actually does give a my a minus two penalty. Really? 
Yep. Oh, um, oh man. I don't know why his armor class wouldn't be 10 in this moment, though. Like, it certainly wouldn't be lower than 10, but I think it's 10. So he still Does has. He Does he have Ironhide? It doesn't matter. He's unconscious on the ground in a coma. <laughs> I mean, Iron, you still have. Okay. D- d- I don't think, think, about, armor. think about the I'll odds here, though. He rolled a four. <laughs> Caleb. Caleb. I'm checking his character sheet. His normal armor class would be 16 if he had his combat field armor on. Without it, his armor class is... Wait, that doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. Where is he getting this from? There's something else. There must be something else on here that's giving him 15. And with these chairs, I think he has partial cover. <sighs> well, his uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't he just a warrior? He's a soldier. Yeah, his armor class is just naturally better. I don't understand why that would matter if he's unconscious on the ground. Well, but but he's but like his skin is tougher. Like that's just a part of being the warrior like class. As his armor class gets better, the more levels he has, right? <laughs> what? No. Did I click that? No, I did. <laughs> have 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 him roll a luck save. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the only fair way. No, no, don't, don't. That, nope. that way, that way, no one can complain. <laughs> no, nope. I can Connor complain. when he fails. <laughs> no, nope. no. Nope. No, have, have, have here, here. partial here. warrior. Fergus, Fergus will roll. He's a partial warrior, and partial warriors don't get anything to AC. Really? Yeah. Here, it's, Fergus will roll a luck save. If it's failed, he dies. If it's a success, he, he lives. No. Oh man, he lives. I I don't. <laughs> Caleb, the rules. <laughs> the rules that you just made up three seconds ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm looking around in his character oh, right now. Yeah, I have no oh. idea why his base ac is 15 oh i think don't you just get ac as you level up just normally yes that sounds correct <laughs> i i think i, I don't, don't know. know man i don't know why. Either way, this is oh, uh, i think that's why david is 23 i think the only reason he has more than me is because you get levels of ac as a soldier you get improved attack bonus saving throws hit points no, there's nothing on here that says you get mm. more armor class. Maybe that's just a warrior then. I don't know. It's not. I, I looked on that mm. too. Nothing that he has would give him 15 AC. I have no clue. He doesn't even have a, a dexterity bonus at all. So yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. Because he's awesome. <laughs> that's my only answer. I have no idea. Here, let's let's unequip my armor and see what happens. How do we look at um where's the rule book? Fine if you don't know. I I sent it in chat, Facebook. Why is my armor class still eighteen? Uh, that's that's what I'm confused about. I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, I think I also have um, telekinetic armory. Let's see if I can find the place where armor class is like calculated. Yeah, my. But Connor, unequip your armor and see what your armor class is. My I, mine won't work. <laughs> what? If you aren't wearing any armor at all, your base AC is ten. Add your dexterity modifier to this. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. He, he's Unless dead. Connor wants to dive in front of it. No, I think like, it's such, since it's such a bad role, Connor should have a chance to dive in front. Of it. I it, it that doesn't make any sense. There there's nothing about the situation mechanically that would give Evelyn a chance to do anything about this. Um the 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 main issue here is that neither of you took any effort whatsoever to make to secure him. He was literally left on the ground in the middle of a firefight. And he's yeah. dead. Um okay, so have you confirmed outside of game that this is the Garrett I've been playing? The one that just died? Yeah. No. So this, have, that isn't the Garrett I've been playing. 
I haven't. Con- I said I haven't confirmed anything. Oh, I haven't confirmed anything. Okay. Um. So I think either way, this is probably what uh, she would do. I'm trying to figure out where the burn rules are. <laughs> <laughs> right. Of course. Of course. That makes them. sense. Oh, it's torching is what it's called. Oh, okay. I've been searching for burn for forever. That makes more sense. I forgot. Here we go. I found it. Um, torching is an instant action. It perf- uh, you can perform it once per round. It provides a free point of effort that lasts for the rest of the scene. And then you roll on a roll of d6. So just go ahead and roll a d6. I mean, I can technically heal him too. Oh, oh that's you true. know what? That's a really good point. <laughs> I forgot gosh about that. Dang it. We spent this whole gosh darn time <laughs> being so stressed about it. And then <laughs> wait a second. I can just heal. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna probably back up though. He's probably she's probably just gonna go back to the elevator cover and uh, take a shot. Miss. Yep. So you're just backing up, like <laughs> I, taking shots. She, she she probably is like super distracted by the fact that like the person she's been searching for for forever is like dead. Yeah. But she knows it's like, Not like a there's a different mess, person out so. there that's actually him. Yeah. But it's just like still just like haunting. I mean, yeah. And, you like, literally could this is what her nightmares are made out of. You see a like a burn hole in his head, right? <laughs> yep. What are you saying, Jerry? I think I can heal him still, technically. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, speaking of healing, Fergus. One round per level. One round per level. Yeah. We got we got three rounds before I actually even need to. We good. Holy cow. Um, well. Chukaka. Crit. <laughs> Nice. Real. We're, 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 we're doubling those, right? No. <laughs> uh, he's not dead yet. I'm like, dude, I thought you were cool, but you're actually just a wuss. I can't believe you attack a dead body. Or unconscious body. attack a dead body. Uh, uh, I, I'm like a child, and I'm much more manly than you. Like, what are you doing, dude? And that's when Juliana comes up behind you and tries to stab you in the back. Uh oh. Uh oh, stinky. And misses horribly. <laughs> and she takes damage. <laughs> I honestly forgot about that. She goes unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just turn around and I look at him and I look at him and I just start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good I definitely would not have had her do that if I had remembered that you had that shield thing but that's but too good to be fair I don't think she saw it no I don't think she did yeah she was she was she was every time yeah. it happened she was teleported away oh, yeah so funny oh man so, <laughs> that, what does that actually look ever. like for that's my favorite that's literally my favorite they're staring each other thing. down talking smack to one another and then she just comes up stabs and Fergus doesn't even notice he just hears a flop to the ground and then he looks behind him and then he just starts <laughs> laughing <laughs> nice oh, man. That, that's my favorite moment this whole this whole season <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that's so good that's everything I, I'm just like that's just so embarrassing dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great Stop. Anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> but Woody, uh, though, his partner's right behind me. Or does he not care? Um, I swear if he rewinds time, I'm going to flip over. <laughs> uh, that, that, would make, that would make the best canon moments not canon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. He's gonna shoot you, Jared, Ooh. and hit you for six. Woo! Ouch. Okay, that's not that bad. Okay. Alright, uh one round has passed since 
mm-hmm. Jacob went down. Evelyn? Okay, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot the boy. Beat. Um... For whatever reason, I clicked on Victor's <coughs> character sheet to shoot him. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh. that scene really distracted me. Mitz. That is a miss. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Uh, you're probably just standing by the elevator, like shakily pointing, like, and just firing, yeah. re- like, totally off because you're just, like, staring out the corner of your eye at the guy who's oh, dead next uh, to you. We also yeah. didn't do the turn for the uh, soldiers last round. Uh, the, the, the turn, the whole entire turn for the soldiers was just getting the elevator started again. Okay. I was just making sure you let it for, for the audience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Fergus. Uh, I'm going to spend effort to do tissue integrity field and heal both of us. <laughs> both you and who? Uh, oh, and, and Vigo. Vigo. Yeah. Got it. I was like, Evelyn hasn't been hurt at all. So yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Cool. And that's 2d6 plus 6, I believe. Let's find this through all my... So the way your ability works, any of your healing points can be done towards a person who... Hmm? Um, Okay, yeah, I'm just reading your thing. I gotta make sure this makes sense. Yeah, it it only costs... um, uh, effort if I do the the integrity field. Got it. Yeah, uh, 2d6 plus 6. Oof. Yikes. Not great, but not bad. And... Still more damage than I got hit by. <laughs> yep, so he is currently alive again. Alright, Alex but he is... Gets, is just... he up now then? No. Remember, because he he was he was oh, okay. dealing with something way more serious than yeah, <laughs> um, getting shot in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, <sighs> though to be fair, there is biological precedence for being shot in the head, triggering or fixing mental illness. And to be fair, I'd heal him back to the way he'd uh-huh. supposed to be, not... Do you want to make a luck save for me, Fergus? Yeah, this would be such a great moment. Can you believe I almost burnt for this? Um, <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I almost nice. I almost torched and screwed us. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had lost wisdom? <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm interested in that, right? Like, that's the sort of thing that happens. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So, Connor, what psychic ability does he use <laughs> on his turn, which is now? He doesn't have any psychic what? abilities. Oh, I thought he had psychic ability. What? No. no. What does he do then? He's a warrior uh, a expert. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I forgot he, he's he, a Connor character. character. <laughs> <laughs> his character sheet oh. is also a level three, so. Yeah, I can't add six to that. I don't know if we're going to like change add that or not. Six but... to it? Yeah, it's 2d6 plus 6. Oh, you just didn't put that in. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think his character sheet should be this way for the clone. Right? Like, it's, it's like a weakened, not mm-hmm. right version yet. Um, so, yeah. Toss Alex, him a gun. Alex is just on the ground. Victor. I, I point at him. I'm like, you, you could do it again. We could do this all day. <laughs> Because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to fighting retreat. What? Pick up Alex. So I don't get a no attack yeah. of opportunity. Lame. And book it. Picking someone up takes part of your movement, doesn't it? Yes. It does if you're not a telekinetic. That's for sure. Yeah. So he can get there with Alex. He just starts booking it. Evelyn? (sighs) Evelyn, shoot Alex. Don't shoot the guy. Shoot her. End her. 
want to hurt Caleb, but that's totally what Evelyn would do. <laughs> Especially after what he just did to Garrett. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. She's going to shoot right at her. Yeah, she only has no it's AC. Gonna, it's going to be at minus two, Connor. It's going to be at minus two because she's Cause prone cause and she's a distant. Prone. Yep. Is she prone, yep. though? She's being carried. Yes. Flame sauce. But she doesn't have her Ironhide armor class. She doesn't, yes. So. Oh, okay. That's a so it's a minus positive. two. Yeah, I'm still getting a plus three to my roll. Okay. That is unreal. Five. That's nice. unreal. <laughs> yeah, you miss. Wow. Can you imagine my torch for this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but that'd be really funny. Yeah, you take a shot. It hits the wall. I see. Yeah. The rush is past. Fergus? Fergus runs up. Right here. Mm-hmm. And I go, sure would be a shame. <laughs> And he just he shoots her. <laughs> shoots her? Yeah. Uh you can't because you're what? you're in melee you're you're holding two handed range weapon. And the guy has her under one arm and his sword in the other hand. What? He is threatening it's you with a, a melee it's weapon. Not two, it's not a two handed range weapon. It's a psychic it, explosion. It, it, it is a it is a mag shotgun, which is a two handed. Okay, hold up though. But it's telekinetic, a two handed no, telekinetic telekinetic armory gives you the ability to and i know we've we flavored it as a finger guns before but what's actually happening in the rules is fergus has an invisible trend or like a translucent version of a two-handed shotgun oh you're saying that he has fergus has a two-handed shotgun and cannot make the roll because he is currently in melee range okay okay well then don't yeah yeah (laughs) i mean if you do that then he gets an attack opportunity on you because you move no attack opportunities don't work don't exist. Yeah, they do. That's why he just did a fighting what? retreat and can only move five meters. Never mind. I'll just uh, hear them. Yeah. Because apparently I don't know how rules work. Yeah. I mean, technically you're still in within his threat range, so you need to move one back. What? What is this game? Do you know how squares work, Jared? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Connor, should I shoot him or should I shoot her? Oh, I think you should shoot her. Caleb, well, which one do you think I should shoot? <laughs> do whatever you want to do. The, the other, my other thought is, if he's anywhere near close to dead, we can get both of them right here. Mm-hmm. But uh, considering how much health she had, he's going to have more than that. Potentially. And how much did she... She had 444. How much damage have I done to him? 17. He took 40. 18. Oh, I never hit that one. Kev, how much damage have I done to him? <laughs> you don't have to tell me how much he has left, just how much have I done. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a while. How so much you've have done to I'm, him? Yeah. You I'm have to scroll through and <laughs> find out what was what. You have done. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to calculate this without saying it out loud. Caleb. 40. Never mind. Forget it. I don't even damage? care anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm going to eat her. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes. Caleb. You're going to eat her mind. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Go ahead and good. roll telepathy, I guess. Oh, I am so spending another effort. Is it for the scene or for the day for her ability? I, I always forget what we decided for that. Okay. But yeah, uh, telepathy. So, um, so I'll just modifier for that. Three then. Said plus one already. Absolutely serious. Thirteen. Let's go. Yep. yep. Um. <laughs> so it doesn't look like there's any difference to us as the audience. Um. I thought I used the nano swarm to do that though with another sidekick. Or is that not? 
No, it's because you connected with okay. the nano swarm that you were able to do it. Okay. But you, I mean, you ate an Evangelia without the nano swarm, right? Oh, yeah. So, okay. So what, I mean, you can tell me what it looks like for you. Um, is there any, is there any actual visible sign that this is what you're doing or are you just reaching out with your mind? What do you think would be cooler? I don't really have an opinion either way. I, yeah. Up to you. Con- Connor, you want to help me flavor this? Season it? I have no idea. I think it would be cool if it involved the nano, the nano swarm. I don't remember exactly how this worked the first time. So, is it was it well, just the, the first time like, was because you... I, I like I was hooked into her like through through uh what's it called uh the device thing the headset device right and the second time I connected it was through nano bots trying to eat me but you've only eaten two people so far right or one person evangelia uh two psychic entities <laughs> it's that we've never done a person before. oh right because of uh uh the song guy i can't remember rick astley <laughs> yeah, rick astley. yeah. The, song the song guy, guy. Uh, the song guy Hopefully, uh, he's very uh, honored. I, I, by I think it would be cool if it involved guy. the nano swarm somehow, unless that's counteractive to the the world you've set up. So say that again. I think it would be cool if it involved the the nano swarm somehow. I mean, yeah, that's fine. You have it in your body right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just and that's that would be more of a flavor thing than anything. It, um, you oh, you were able to would... do it before. Um, yeah. but that's fine. I, I don't mind that. Um, yeah, I mean, so we see this and, and mostly this is for all our audiences, the audience's sake, but we see a black cloud come from you as you reach out with your hand and it's almost as if like a magnet, um, a black cloud surrounding her starts to reach out, starts to like be pulled by yours. And then suddenly you it just like come like. They just become one. Her nanites are sucked into you, into your swarm. And Could, we, can, we see her last can breath there be like come a, with like it. A, like, a, like, a, like a mist of like blood come out of her as the, the her nanites are like furiously like ripping themselves oh, from her body. Oh, probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and suddenly her just like all of her pores have been like expanded and her, her entire like, yes, like all of her skin is just like shredded. Does uh does buff guy stop to look at me? Please say no. He does, I've, got, I've got a line. <laughs> I don't think so because like he's so focused on just running. But I said I said before this happened, sure would be unfortunate right next to him. I think he'd look a little. I think he'd <laughs> and sure, see the horror that sure would be unfortunate. <sighs> And okay, I'll, I'll make I'll make a save. I'll make a save. I'll make okay. a save. No, he just keeps going. Okay, Darn. I wouldn't. I wasn't gonna do anything to him. I just had. I just had a good line. I I just don't think it's in character for him to give you time the time of day at all right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. He just he he knows that you're gonna give some sort of line if he looks back, mm-hmm. and so he doesn't care. <laughs> Sorry, audience. You don't, you don't get. You don't get <laughs> it's just, yeah. I just didn't was, seem in character so for him to do so. So it was, just, it was gonna be so good, audience. I'm sorry. You can still say it. it to him. Nope. <laughs> I have to, I had to be. I, I you know, it would have only worked if he was looking me in the eyes. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. Being the bigger man, I get it. Mm-hmm. He still has to, you know, roll to get like get Escape. away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, are we fine with him just like making a roll here to No. <laughs> Remove that distance. He can roll and exert. See how much I we we going by the rules with this baby. <laughs> That's true. We don't have very good. Fargus is so. hungry. <laughs> uh it is his turn next, so he will make an exert roll. I, I don't think it makes any sense to do anything else but just make an exert roll back and forth. Um, I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. So just beat a seven. <laughs> You're good. 
Oh, what? Yikes. Okay. Uh, can I roll exert then too? Uh, whoever, who has the highest with their exert plus strength. Hey, uh, thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. What I do you mean to roll an exert? I can fly telepathically. <laughs> okay. Make a telepathy roll in response. <laughs> okay. Or telekinesis. Oh, thank you. Yep. So what, what do you want that to look like? Oh, he he like stumbles like tr- like trying to carry her because you know he's injured, yeah. his armor's all dented, mm-hmm. and I just float by. I just float right up behind him. <laughs> That's so crazy. actually no no. I, I want to like fly above him and land in front of him like right here or something. Yeah, right right in front of the door, right as he oh, tries oh. to escape like down this corridor. Well, oh, okay, yeah. But not if he's still right there. <laughs> no, yeah, of course, but, yeah. So he stops right there and he just <sighs> looks down at at her and sees her like body's mangle he just drops her oh he's in his he's in his kid form again now too wait oh, you like he? you yeah. ate his you like ate her brain like her I, head I, is, like I, I ripped her i i mean her she's messed up i like ripped the nanobites forcibly from her body and i did what? say nanobites not nanobots <laughs> nanites yeah nanobites. oh my goodness he missed the blood mist connor come on no, I did not understand what, that, what was happening there. He reached out with his own nanite swarm and right. drew hers to himself. Okay, that but, makes sense now. Yeah. I understand how that. And so there's just like that. a there's like a puff of red, and her skin is just shredded as they come out of her pores. Right. Yeah. Oh man. So how's how's your plan going for you? Thought you thought you'd yes. ambush the non-fighters, huh? Yeah. Man. Yeah. And I, he, Fergus is just grinning like a demented grin. <laughs> he grabs he, his he, thunder gun out and he's just like, This is creepy. <sighs> yeah, again, I don't know why, but the hospital just like went dark again <laughs> for this <laughs> for that moment. That's just you, man. <laughs> That's so yeah, weird. He grabs his thunder gun out and is just like staring you down and he just says, What you now? Can surrender. I'll heal her. She won't be a psychic anymore, but I can heal her. Ah, uh, I don't think that's not possible, Fergus. You killed her. I I still have uh, two more turns to heal her. It no, you did, no dead. with with what you did there, you destroyed her mind. If even if you heal her body, oh. she's a vegetable for the rest of her life. Okay. Oh, gotcha. I mean, I could still heal her. <laughs> <She's> just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you literally like. Uh well, so I guess you could have chosen what way you were going to do that well yeah because because you didn't kill evangelio when you did this mm-hmm. you like but you also like cop there was like a weird copying program that was yeah, happening let's let's not have that be the standard because there were so many like different variables at play uh-huh. for why that worked yeah i i think she's dead like i don't okay i don't I mean, think yeah, there's fine. It was an oh, like, I'll, 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 I'll change what I say then, then, or no, it wasn't a controlled environment, and so mm-hmm. Fergus did it. And the only way he could have done it in this moment was to just destroy her brain. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> maybe, I'll change what I say then. May as well drop her. Not even I can heal that. Yeah, I think he says, "Screw you." I'm a child. So, uh, he uh, the, the joke obviously went over his head. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> you gonna surrender? Or are we gonna fight to the death? Or what's going on? Yeah, I don't know if he knows because, <laughs> like, this would be the moment where like Alex would swoop him out of danger by teleporting away. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what he was counting on. Yep. Um. Hey, Evelyn, are you going to surround him? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, well, Caleb specifically told me not to roll exert, so I guess I'll just be here. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Because it's technically our turn next, because he... Or, well, I, does, We're does his exert roll count as his roll? Oh, okay. So... You have, like, a cyanide tooth pill scenario thing make this easy for us or because yeah i will i will get the information i want 
I'll make a roll for him. Yeah, he's in control of his own faculties, and he decides to grab at his rocket launcher and shoot you point blank with it. He's also going to damage himself. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. Uh oh. Hi, Connor. Uh, wow, I might just watch her just explode. <gasps> Oof. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, no way. Is he dead? Uh, no. Mm-mm. So oh, I'm I, going to say, I'm going to unreal. say, uh, like one of Fergus's arms just like blows off. Of yeah. Him yeah. And like a leg too. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> and on, yeah. And since it's our turn. Uh, yeah, well, we'll just go from from his turn. So it's Evelyn's turn next. You're in that. You're standing there. You just see Fergus be blown apart by a rocket launcher. Like fight. Like Victor is obviously in his power armor, but like like at the mm-hmm. front of it, if we can see at least that the audience, the audience is just like totally mangled. Yeah, but yeah. He has one hit point left. Um, <laughs> and he says, mm. "Die." Like, uh, uh, mm. I think Evelyn just like primal screams, just like like kind of like kind of like anime Bakugo is uh, yeah. uh, screaming die. die. Just like she she just like sprints down the corridor, just like firing at him. Yeah, my girl. And, uh, yeah, let's see if she does anything. Nope. nope. <laughs> It just hits the back of his armor, which isn't really damaged yep. at all at this point, right? Because yep. everything's been at the, at the front, and he just didn't even notice it. Uh, but you can move 10 meters, so... 1, 2, 4, 6, 10. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, all right, Fergus. I take a step closer. On your one leg? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I'm he- like I'm regrowing it okay, as I yeah. as I'm hobbling towards. Uh huh. Okay. What do you do? Okay, that's so you're just healing. I'm yeah. adding my 15 hit points. Got it. Back up to 18. For real. And I mean that's my turn, but mm-hmm. yeah, I uh. I just I just walk up to him and like, oh, I'm short now, so I just stare him in the eye. I'm like, is that all you got, big boy? <laughs> and I'd assume since it's a rocket launcher, he has to take a turn to reload it. Yeah, oh yeah, he's just guarding the rocket launcher at this point. He's not going to reload okay. it again. Um, I'm just going to double check. Because <laughs> that could have killed me. Yep, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Anything else you'd like to say? Me? No, no, Caleb. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just double checking. He, said, mm-hmm. he wants to fire another rocket at me. No, I'm just double checking <laughs> what because they still have the concert of minds thing going. Um, oh. which I could have used a bunch of things at this point, but I'll I'll just have to keep in mind that I mean Han. There's other stuff going on with Dylan and Ode, and so I'm assuming. Okay, that's, that's what I figured. Where, that's that's where probably I where his. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where okay, Crawl's where focus, focus is right now. Focus is it, yeah, yeah. Because I was he like, probably, he probably assumed that it was that they had the battle. easy job. Right, exactly, because it was just like a bunch of warriors against the the weak psychics. So as long as things yeah. pile a bunch of damage in, it was going to be fine. Hmm. Uh, I'm just double checking if there's anything else he would do here, except for just shoot you. And I don't. Yeah, I think that's just what he does. I say, would you rather be exploded or eaten? <laughs> like your friend. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was terrifying. Um, I think he needs to make another mental save. No. Guess he's just going to shoot you with a pistol again. Oh, oh hey. 
actually I don't know. how I'll, many point how many points of system strain do I get for healing oh eight okay we have eight max yeah yeah I'm at two right now cool oh wait do you start at one you start at zero. Yeah, so basically, Sorry, right, you, you walk up to him as you're regrowing everything, and you say mm. say that, right? And then he mm. just, like, he, he just, he's tossing the rocket launcher aside as you walk towards him. He grabs out his mag pistol, points at your chest, fires, a hole appears in your chest, you know, spray of blood. And he's just like, this doesn't, how are you? And then it's Evelyn's turn. <laughs> please, please, anytime now, Evelyn, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, not that it matters, he, but he didn't roll with a minus four. I know, yeah. How dare you? He um, got a, he got a do we get any bonuses for like uh, surrounding him? Right As now, of right now, no? no. Yeah, there's nothing that actually gives you a bonus here. Actually, uh, can I? Twenty-five doesn't one, two, no, three, four. I, I, I can take four steps forward, right? And then now, do we get any? I don't think so. No, there's not like an advantage there's no thing. No flanking bonus. Mm, no, no. Not, not as far as I know. Uh, I'll double check. I mean, especially if you guys are, aren't doing melee stuff. Neither of you guys have melee stuff. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Yeah. In which case, I probably shouldn't. I'll probably. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're less able to dodge things from behind. Nah, yeah. There's uh, no. Connor, I'd stand further away so we can't like turn around and just grab you and use you as a meat shield. Yeah, I, okay. I tell I tell you that in my in my mind. Yep. <laughs> like, uh, don't get too close. <laughs> And I will shoot again. Yeah, I think and I was about to say, well, maybe she's not calm enough. But after seeing you like regrow from that, she's like, OK, nothing can kill this man. <laughs> so. Oh, so close. So close. Yeah, that is it. That is it now, though. As a so close as in three away. <laughs> yep. Man, oh, that went 19 away. damage. That was good. Damage. Yep. That'd been good. All right, Fergus. It's like, oh, man, that one. Ah, oh, that chafed a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I am full health again. Unreal. I hate you so much, Jer. <laughs> Unreal. Right, I'll, add a, I'll add a system strain. Um, My cool NPCs can never be cool around you. <laughs> <laughs> How does he feel? No, like there's not even like I know. Scratch. Yeah, like um, and it, it was a it was a mag pistol too, actually, and I, uh, so it's not it's not even like. It's not laser, um, which I, I realized after I shot. I'm realizing now. Um, mm -hmm. So the shot that he put into Vigo's head was, yeah, like actual shrapnel and stuff, um, which makes even makes more sense for still, what happened there. There's still a bullet um, there then. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll probably, no, yeah, I was going to say that's probably what we see, right? Is we see the shrapnel just like ding, 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 like dink off um, and uh, fall to the ground. I think I think the sword was working better. Um, um I think you should make a break to grab Evelyn. No. Caleb. Caleb. I have such a good scene planned for if you do though. <laughs> I don't think he's confident he can have well. All I know is he's confident he can't have he can't have Fergus. <laughs> uh yeah, you know what? He he just turns around and fires the thunder gun at you, Evelyn. Oh crap. Please miss. That'd be hilarious. No. <laughs> uh, so 13 damage. Yep. I got the 10 corridor, left. Yeah, as the corridor ripples around you. And you like go flying. Uh Evelyn? You want me to actually like fly across the no, hallway or you're good. Okay. That's not quite what I had in mind. I wanted you to use her as a meat shield, but yeah, well, that's why? why would I want to do? Why would I want to do what you want me to do, Jared? Okay, well, hey, I hit 50 damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, he, he uses, oh, his, yeah. he uses his warrior think... ability to negate the hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. That's yeah. so upsetting. So for flavor, he brings up like a, a bracer shield like that just appears from his his armor and just like 
brings up knocks it all knocks it away and it shatters the shield Menomina. <laughs> Fergus? Menomina. I missed. I miss. Yeah. So you shoot him in the back. The back is, and now the back of the armor is starting to get a little as dented as the front. <laughs> uh, but he's still a turtle in a shell. Uh, and he fires it again at Evelyn. Do you know what? Does he have less AC no. now that half of it's gone? No, it's just for flavor. That's lame. And he hits you for nine. <laughs> you have one hit point left. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Jared, hurry up. It is your turn, Evelyn. I'm giving you another chance to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh. One, two, three, four. But I can still fire if I do this, right? Mm-hmm. And then you can use the rest of your move, right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to still shoot. No, it's just full move. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nice. Yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, yep. Yeah, I don't believe he has any other insta saves here. Did he go down? Uh, he goes down, and then we see. Oh, yeah, his armor. Uh, yeah, the armor insta stabilizes him. Um, so so he is again. down. He's unconscious, <laughs> but he's not gonna die. Okay, but but uh, okay, but the line here is. Uh... What, what what does it look like? Nerf this. What, what, what was yeah? What was the last thing that he had said? Oh. I, I forgot. think he was just like die. Like I, I, after he said die to Fergus. Oh no no he 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 said I don't. Why aren't you? And then he just turned around and fired at you instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, um, Evelyn just uh, just like just shoots him in the head. Like she just like slows down and just like breathes as she like gets up from like the last like shot and like her, uh, like probably her costume is probably just like ripped to shreds right now. And, and she just like picks up her rifle and, uh, she flips the auto targeting back on and just like holds down the trigger. (laughs) And, uh, it just, it just fires like a ton of bullets into his face. It yeah. finally like rips through the helmet and yep. and and uh and he just down. goes down and then we just hear hear a stabilized. I can I wake him up? I hate that voice. Can you what? Can I wake him up? You can heal him. Okay, is he he's he's stabilized but unconscious. Okay. Can I heal him just enough to wake him up so I'm the last thing he sees? You just want to do that and then kill him? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Once he wakes up, I say, this is what you get for picking on kids. And then I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unreal. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I forgot I'm like a child. We're all children. <laughs> yeah. And then I take his thunder gun. Sure. Yeah. Cannon. That's fine. <laughs> and it... And his rocket launcher. I want to give I, him to Ode. Okay, yeah, sure. Actually, we're not going to see Ode for who knows how long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't. Does he have any, like, grenades or something on him? No, he doesn't. Otherwise, I would have used him. <laughs> 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 okay. His rocket launcher was the biggest firepower he had, so. Oh. Uh, do, I swear, if I would have gotten you on that, that would have been out of Dude, something. that was close. I, yeah, was, I, I was sweating a little bit when uh-huh. he said rocket launcher. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It was, it was when close. I fired it, I knew he had a. He still had a one, like two more, mm-hmm. like extra, like automatic, like don't get destroyed by this mm-hmm. thing. Yep. Um, uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so, do they have data pads or com pads or whatever? No. No. They're all they they're psychically better. linked. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I don't need any of that. Good point. Ah uh, well, Evelyn, you want you want to go get your friend now or? <laughs> Just brain <laughs> everywhere on the ground as uh, yep. Fergus blew his head out. Yeah. Oh, I, I walk up to you, slap you on the back. I'm like, good shot. And then I heal you. <laughs> <laughs> so that plus six. So 14. And then that plus six. So a nine. And take two system strain. And that's, of course, the point where you look behind you, Fergus, or you look behind Evelyn, 
um, Evelyn hasn't seen this yet, but the clone of of uh, Vigo is standing up, looking at his hands. Uh, let the record show, I am now the doctor again. <laughs> okay. As soon as Fergus sees that, he just... <laughs> Fer- Fergus, Fergus hears like the, the ting on the elevator. He's like... <gasps> <laughs> oh, right. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we see, right? The camera shifts over to the elevator with the ding, and then it shifts back over, and Fergus is just Uh a doctor. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, yeah, I assume you make Evelyn into her her, uh, alter ego, too, right? Oh, yeah. And we see Vigo standing in front of the elevator, looking at his hands in his, like, hospital gown. And then, yeah, the elevator dings, soldiers pile out, and immediately they're just like, secure the clone, secure the clone! And then they they grab him. And then one of them like looks over at you. Doctor, you okay? Yes, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Release him to me. We need you guys to get into the We have intruders. We need you to secure the the rest of the facility. Make a talk roll. Yeah. Um uh, Charisma or intelligence? Charisma. Yikes! Hey, Kyle, yeah, you know what sucks? We're gonna have to kill more innocents. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, basically, what they say is like just like there's like three of them, and and they say, "I'm sorry, protocol demands that we need to put him right back into the." And then I shoot him in the face. Okay. <laughs> that Connor's making these moral choices for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ugh. So 14 damage. I, I think you just killed him. Oh yeah. You, he... you kill that guy for sure. Sweet. Like, yeah, I... Evelyn's not playing around with this guy's life. Like <sighs> she, she knows that they're doing something wrong to Garrett. Yeah. yeah. And that's or to, to who she knows as Vigo. Yeah. So I... they're like it, it doesn't really matter. They can follow orders all they want and be innocent that way all they want, but he's not gonna buy it. They're gonna die. Yeah. Fergus sighs like, ah, oh, Jill's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> and it's your turn, Fergus. <laughs> oh, I miss. Yep. Yeah, and then yeah, that's what, like, they, well, you shoot that one in the head and you get the lucky shot off Evelyn because they're not expecting the nurse to suddenly pull a pistol out of her <laughs> or a yeah. mag rifle out of her clothes and just fire at them. Yep. But the other two are like, dive, and they're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, and Fergus, like, fires hey, a shot wild. If you remember, the nurse was a guy. Caleb, thank you very much. Jeez. Kind of guy. No. Yeah. No, his he, was Evelyn. Too, but no, he was. She was. Uh, he was a girl the whole time. Uh, she was a girl. Okay. The the patient Evelyn was pretending to be was a was a guy. I thought thinking the of. doctor was a guy. Or the, the doctor, doctor was a guy, and no, nurse was a girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my my map just went dark. <laughs> 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 so the thing is, this triggers something deeply innate in Vigo, and he turns against you guys and follows the soldiers. Crap. <sighs> I should have thought that through. Uh, is there any way for me to take off the disguise? I know that's not going to help. I, I but can take it off. It's for, yeah, right, you have to tell I, Fergus too. So I, so I say to you in, in, in your head, mm-hmm. or uh, in my head, no, I say, I say, never mind. <laughs> so I, I telepath <laughs> you to, to take off the disguise for me because I think I can talk him out of it even though i know there's no way that that's going to make any sense or do anything helpful but she's just like i can't be a different person right now because he has to know who i am uh, so is that you, the surprise round and so we, no we uh normal it, 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 we're, we're in normal turn order right now and it is vigo's turn right now gotcha. um and he's gonna be able to do something before you can do that evelyn um oh okay so he grabs a vibroblade from the fallen soldier who just like just went down and um no he saw what happened no <laughs> don't do it <laughs> and <laughs> he attacks you fergus <laughs> <You're Yeah. dead. laughs> and he misses because I, he, I can't control it he takes he's, five damage <laughs> he's unbelievably weak <laughs> Yep. I'm like, yeah. dude, dude, we're saving you. Oh, you're killing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it's the soldiers. Uh, man. And they're gonna I think yeah, they're gonna fire at you, Evelyn. Okay. One hits for eight. 
That's fine. I'm at full. They're just like, surrender now! And it's your, your turn, Evelyn. Sweet. I shoot the other one. Or no, actually, I, I, I try to talk Garrett down. Okay. I know that's not what she's good at, but she, that's what she's going to do. And then you, you tell um, Fergus to lower the... And tell Fergus to lower the... Lower yeah, the um, metamorph. metamorph. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did that already. So, so, I'm, so I'm Evelyn, and I, and I look at it. Uh, uh, clone. Yeah. <laughs> clone Vigo. Uh, really clone Garrett. And I'm like, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure Vigo is his real name, and Garrett is the name he took after he left right, the Imperium. But, but this right. is a clone of someone who thinks who he's thinks Garrett. Right. Yes, that's true. Yes. Um. So I just uh, look at him and say, "Hey, it's me. It's Evelyn. We're here to help you." Um, can I get some sort of, uh, is there an argument here for no? No. Okay. Cause he knows her. You're, well, you're, no, no. She, he doesn't, but I know how, who, like what, what like comforts him. Or you could realize like a linked thing, but that would be like an extra action that you don't have. So, um, it'd be a what you could roll it as like an, a help to your own, your other test here, but that's also it, both of them are actions. So, right. You're just going to waste time that way. Uh, I don't understand if you want you if you want to spend your turn right now figuring out in your own brain what would be helpful here you can do that oh. and then next turn make the roll but i assume you don't want to do that no i definitely don't want yeah. to do that so you can uh, make it you can make a talk roll but I'll, I'll i'll give you a puzzle modifier because of the innate like primal understanding that this guy has of you okay whatever whatever is in his psychology that's like And with charisma? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No. Yep. I expected something like that. Did you say what you said already? Yeah. Okay. I I said, it's me. It's Evelyn. We're here to rescue you. Yeah. But I did it in a, um, uh, as good of a girl voice as I can do. (laughs) Yeah. He says, you're a little short to be a stormtrooper. And then he shoots you. Um, (laughs) I am. You're so right. (laughs) Uh, Fergus is you. Uh-huh. Actually, no, I'm like really tall. I'm like almost six foot, I think. No, you're normal girl average no. height. No, 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 Evelyn's tall. I don't think you've never described this. her as tall. I remember this. Yes, I have. No. You continue. 100% you've never you're described her as tall. I, there's no character sheet place for <laughs> uh, height, so I guess we're at a draw. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll, I'll give you guys one chance to surrender. Otherwise, I'm going to explode you. You can make a talk roll with that. I'm not going to. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> You're just going to shoot I, well, If that counts as my turn, I'm not going to. Yeah, it will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get no. the chance. <laughs> not really, but yeah. I'm like, I, I warned you. I'm like, dude, please just, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a... literally turns the pudding. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll make a mental save for him. Oh, uh, I deleted the wrong. Per- he sh- they should have gotten a turn before you did. Um, so they're gonna sh- they're gonna shoot Evelyn. They they just rolled the shoot, didn't they? No, they didn't. No, no Garrett was... attacked me. Yeah, oh, or, they, they both have missed. they have six. Never mind. Yeah, I accidentally just deleted the one that had the, it was in the yeah. turn order. So, um, but I'll make a save for that guy. He succeeds, so he's still gonna fight. Um, and so, yeah, he's not running. Garrett is going to attack you again, Fergus. No, please stop. <laughs> hey, he hits oh, you. Oh, wow. No, he doesn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have 22. Oh, unreal. <laughs> How do you have more AC than me? That's so stupid. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> Dude, I spent my money right. Oh, oh. he's down. <laughs> yeah, he's down. <laughs> he uh. is down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> This is unreal. <laughs> I try. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do a good thing, and mm. everyone's stopping me. <laughs> All right, Evelyn. Go. Oh. Um. Yeah. So I think she's the last guy. Yeah, I think she's just like 
<laughs> about the clone going down. And I was like, I guess that's as good as what we could hope for. They must have done something to his mind or done something to his head. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I think she says mind and then shoots the last guy. Oh, no. And misses. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, it actually would have been that guy's turn first before yours. I, I haven't added them back to the turn order. That's okay. He's just going to miss. Nope. What? He does four, four damage. damage. Unreal. 19 hits you? Yeah, that's his. Yeah, my, my AC is 19. What a noob. <laughs> Fergus. Uh, like, uh, don't, don't worry. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Fergus is just so done with this. Oh, hilarious. I I heal Vigo. Yep. And then I heal Evelyn again. <laughs> I'll roll. Take another system strain. That's possible. Oh, do you heal me? 13. Okay, so I'm at full HP again. Does he attack us again? <laughs> Uh, I think he's weak enough that you can like restrain him at least. No, I was I would hey, I would uh, think Eve- that Evelyn, the thing that triggered his brain is is done now because he just died. Evelyn, theoretically, if I blow his head off completely and then heal him, I might fix him. But that's up to you. <laughs> Let me go. No, you killed my comrades. You killed them. Listen to me, Vigo. Those aren't. Those aren't your comrades. My name isn't Vigo. Who are you? I think I think she like really freezes up on that one. Like my name isn't Vigo. She's like, ooh, like that hurts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's like, uh, okay. Uh, what's your name then? And and Fergus, this is the most gentle you've ever heard Evelyn speak before, or like sound, I should say. The gentlest Fergus, she's ever sounded. Fergus, Fergus just stands over here. It gives you guys a minute. <laughs> yeah, walks around the corner. Uh, he picks up that girl's swords. <laughs> um, My swords, though. You hear a, a laugh in your mind. Nice. Um, and uh, Garrett slash Vigo like thinks for a moment, and he has to think about that a long time. He just says, "I think it's Garrett." Okay. Um, well, tell me about yourself, Garrett. No. You're a murderer. No, I'm not. Because of you. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> no, no, she doesn't see this as, as murder at all. You're, you're she, not a mass murderer because of you. No, no, but, <laughs> no that, she's telling the truth, though. She's not... Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this situation. you believe what you're saying that doesn't mean you're telling the yes truth. yeah <laughs> correct yeah that's what i meant yeah, yeah she's <laughs> like um she's like uh no i'm i'm not a murderer because of you you're the one that you're the one that saved me all those years ago it's you um, garrett but we didn't know each other by that name before i don't know you i'm evelyn why did you kill Alan Leidner? Why did you kill those soldiers? They were just doing their job. Their job was to hurt you. Their job was to use you. I'm here to save you, to rescue you, to let you have your own choice. Isn't that what you want? Clone of Garrett? And she hopes that'll like... Make a talk. Make a uh, what, yeah, what's your intent with this? Like, you're obviously trying to get him to react a certain way, to to snap out of the like weirdness that. Right, but he's you just in. called him a clone. Like, what do you want him to feel about that? That that he's being used. That he's a tool. That he needs to right. get out and figure out what's really going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Talk with the Christmas. Like, I'm the only person you can trust right now. Mm-hmm. Do we have any modifiers? No, I think just your connection with him is making you the role possible. Yikes, seven is not very good. Um, yeah. And I think like Fergus can like just restrain him with telekinesis, so it's not like he's a threat to you right now. Yeah. Um, right. So if I show you the real one, will you just, you know, shut up and come willingly? 
You don't. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, I, I cover his mouth with telekinesis too. I'm like, okay, we're going. <laughs> I start just walking towards the uh, the real one, or wherever I sense the real one. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm the doctor again. Okay. Yeah. Did you just follow him, Evelyn? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. I mean, yeah. Go ready to go. So you just start walking down the corridor. You get to that door that's basically gets destroyed at this point because the rocket launcher just fired at it. Um, and beyond you, you see one single corridor with no side doors, just leading down the hallway. And then there's a door at the end of it. And it just says, um, like highest level of like highest security clearance. Like there's, there's that sort of signage. Um, indicating like this is the most secure part of the entire facility. You see several like security guards dead around the door. Mm -hmm. And you just walk, walk up to it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And assuming this guy has clearance, he's made it this far. The doctor. Well, no, remember you, you weren't able to get clearance to the last one either. You had to like, uh, he was Evelyn. Wasn't that was the problem. No, oh, no, no, you're no, right. no, no, you're, no, you're, you're getting that wrong. Uh, Evelyn can go on the sky bridge, but the doctor uh, could. And once you got to the place where the clone was, neither of you could get in and you had to figure out you did telekinesis or something um, okay. or just hack. Oh, it. OK. Um, so, yeah, the same thing here. You're going to have to like hack it or something. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll try hacking it. Just hack. Oh, program okay. program. Yeah, sorry. 13, baby. Yeah, 13 is pretty good. Uh, it's taking you a little bit, um, but you're managing to do it. Um, and, you know, Clone of Vigo is just standing there, like, frustratedly, like, gr- gritting his teeth. <laughs> um, and... Oh, don't be feisty. Um, I'm trying to remember in, the t- in my brain, like, what was actually going on here. I'm trying to remember. I know what their plan was. I'm just trying to remember what stage of the plan they were in when they confronted you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, my, I'm really tired today, so I'm, I'm just trying to rack my brain with this. Um, oh, let's save. This is going real well for me today. Maybe we should just stop there. Right? The door, oh, the door swings. Oh. But I think I might need time to think this through. Okay. Like this is obviously going to be like the most important scene probably of the yeah. whole season. Okay. Uh, and my like like literally my I can't think right now. Like I'm I don't know what's going on in my brain. Um, mm-hmm. but this entire session I've just been like on the edge of like not having the right brain power to think this through. Um, so we should stop there. That's fine. Um, we get the door sliding open, and we see Evelyn and Fergus's faces as their eyes widen for whatever be is beyond no your eyes just widen um because that could be any number of things <laughs> um yeah let's uh let's just leave off there beliefs and instincts <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um well yeah i mean the mission of getting vigo still hasn't finished you guys aren't getting xp yet right um Dang it. But you're gonna get a lot when you actually mm-hmm. finish it right you're gonna definitely level up um but yeah um let's go ahead and stop here and uh, we'll go ahead and do our little after show stuff and um, talk about the session. All right. This has been a Lazy Road. If you're a patron, you can look forward to an after show coming out of you soon. Otherwise, we're out. See ya. Same bat time, same bat channel. Indeed. That needs to be our, like, our call, like, a stinger at the end.